hey, I wanted to put this video out on YouTube and any other platform. And like I said, each and every one of us, you know, we try to do the best what we got with what we can. But a lot of people don't know what people are going through. They don't know what's going on. Me, I do the best I can to be a good dad. And it's funny, it doesn't matter who you get around. Somebody's always going to complain. Somebody is always going to have negative things. Somebody's always going to think that they know better than everybody else. Or they think that they're protecting people. Or they think that, you know. And the only thing I've been seeing, whether it's on TV or towards you know actions that others do is people have all this hostility you know every day we're out there one day at a time trying to be the best we can for the right reasons okay take for me for example and I'm going to give you my example I do I try the best to be the best dad I can be you know for 13 years you know I've been attacked by you know people because they want to put my daughter in harm's way or they want to say different things but the thing about it is the truth of the matter is nowadays we have videos and we have ways of showing the things that we can do the things we can say and like most people I do do a lot of content on Facebook not just with my daughter and I but things I do every single day whether it's on Facebook YouTube or Instagram you know people can take it any way they want and they do and, and some people, they're really good people out there. Others are just really disgusting. Others, they're just looking to make a name for themselves. They wanna make calls or they think they're, they're putting people, they're protecting them. A lot of reasons why I do what I do is to protect my daughter. At no time do I let any sex offenders or predators or pedophiles or anything else get around her or me or anybody I know. I am very protective of kids and making sure that they're all safe at all times. Now granted, people are going to argue, but people will argue with anything you say. You can put a ham sandwich out there and someone's going to argue about it. They're going to have their viewpoints of it. You're not going to be doing something the way they want because they think that what they say, think, or do, you know, maybe they don't understand that sometimes the reason why things are done is because it's the only way to protect. Maybe they don't see maybe a parent or something, another parent has the child around really undesirable people and the only way they can keep them safe because like I said, people believe what people tell them all the time. I have gone to Great Lakes always making sure my daughter's protected. Now, I lost my mom when I was younger you know, and you know, I believe in extracurricular. I believe that a child needs to be a child, okay? But I also believe that a parent is not a child's friend. A, a friend is somebody that gets in trouble with you, just like in the Marines, you know? Uh, a, a friend's there in jail with you. A friend is there, you know, doing the stuff with you. A parent's there to help you, to guide you, to show you different things, different ways of doing things. I do things with my daughter to show her that. Thing about it is I put on the older videos. I don't do the new stuff because as she's gotten older, I do less and less. And the reason why I did them before is to show people the different things they can do with their kids, to show them how to read with their kids, to show them, you know, the different ways they can do different things, to take up as much time as you can if you're a single parent. You know, I did all this in order to keep my sanity because like I said, I am a single dad my sanity was making sure my daughter was safe at all times to basically to discredit any rumors or gossip or being told I don't do anything with my daughter or being told we don't go anywhere you know things that people don't see in like videos and everything else but I also have a lot of Marine Corps friends that they were looking at doing things with their kids and how to do different things you know and I've got family all over the United States I literally have family actual family all over the United States you know and I always want to make sure that people, you know, I always believe in kindness with communication and showing um, a three minute video, a 30 second video, something going on to me was never a big deal. But there are people out there that they do nothing with their kids, they abuse their kids, they neglect their kids. And when somebody like me is all of a sudden show up, for some reason they get offended because they themselves are not willing 
to do things with their own children or do things with people out there. You know, people can accuse people of a lot of different things. And, you know, and a lot of those things can be really, really heinous. And I've seen it. And believe it or not, you know, I may not always see what people say all the time. I do my best, though. You know, I don't understand every language out there. And I don't always allow comments and stuff. And if somebody's bad, I report them. Believe it or not, I actually report anybody that shows any kind of child endangerment whatsoever. I take out their names. We go over to their page. We copy it. We send it off to the authorities. I actually do that. So if anybody's watching this and they're like, oh, well, you, you know, you've already come up to your own mind. You haven't got this far into it. If you just do things because out of spite, out of anger, out of hate, because you yourself are either jealous, envious, or greedy of what's going on. I can't control that. I can only control the things that I say and do. And, you know, a lot of stuff is one day, you know, I want my daughter to look back and see that we did as much as we can. You know, I'm not emotionally disconnected from my daughter at all, you know. In fact, it's the actual opposite, you know. I want to make sure that she understands. But, you know, because now she's getting on the social media platform and she has her own sites. I mean, she's already meeting guys and stuff. And I'm, I'm like her, like I said, you have to monitor all that kind of stuff. You have to make sure the kids are safe. But if I show her, you know, things that are appropriate and things that are not appropriate, you know, reading a child a book, you know, I'm sorry, but a lot of people, they don't have those memories from the past. So maybe I borderline things, but on the other hand, I do it because I care, you know? And I know there's people out there, they're gonna say whatever they want, they wanna think whatever they do. And it never bothers my daughter until all of a sudden, you know, somebody else decides to get into her head. And we gotta make sure we're always protecting our kids. I always say that, we always must protect our kids. We always must protect our children. We always must do the right thing for the right reasons. It may not always be what we want, but we must always do that. And, you know, if that's what it's going to take, that's what it's going to take. So no matter what you do in life, there's always going to be a critic. There's always going to be that one person that the know-it-all, the person that I'm going to protect, you know, and, you know, they may have a legitimate claim, but they don't know the whole story. They don't know everything going on. All they care about is what's going on in their world, and they want to be the defender. They want to be the hero, but then they take away... They want to take away other people's power. They want to take away other people's control. They want to take away other people's freedoms by thinking that they know better, by thinking that they're doing the right thing at the right reason. But the problem is they get the wrong people mixed up. And then they think, oh, well, I didn't know that. You know, I, I can tell you there's a lot of stuff that we do and we take a lot of precautions. We, take, we put a lot of security features and a lot of different things. And when we find out about it or something goes on about it, you know, we always report it. We always make sure that criminals or those that have bad behaviors or somebody else, you know, people that want to go on here and make up fake names and everything so they can go and see different stuff. You know, to me, that's them hiding. That's them trying to get a glimpse of the things they want to accuse people of. You know, if people are real, they'll use their name, they'll use their address, they'll use their phone numbers. I'm not afraid to tell it where I live. I'm not afraid to say who I am. I'm not afraid to let you know that we gotta protect our kids every single day. And then people are like, what about all the videos and stuff? We do, we do a lot of videos, but you know what? These are from years, okay? And it's not anything bad, anything that's discriminatory, you know? It's not anything to where we are teaching anything bad or neglectful or teaching anything that's harmful. What it is, it's just showing, you know, the baking and the cooking and the, the garden and the flowers, you know? It, it's showing things that are progressive, you know, how kids grow and, and think and do things. Uh, I was going to be a school I chose not to because like I said being a school teacher is very hard and teachers are heroes so I never became a school teacher but I am a protector I am somebody that will not allow children to be abused or neglected or used in any kind of pornography or any kind of bad way shape or form you know here all of a sudden Netflix is in trouble and I agree that show should not be on because like I said when you put kids in a negative light and showing them like that what's it called um I don't even know what the show's called. I don't watch it, so I don't really care. But, you know, people, they, they sit there and they think everybody's like that. And all of a sudden, you know, all the positives and all the negatives. Like, I'm like, really? You, you, you know, you don't portray kids 
and supermodel status or like adults that's just wrong i've never done that in any of my videos you know and the things that we do if i deem later on are inappropriate or if they need to be come down i bring them down so just take care of your kids you know before you go evaluate anybody evaluate yourself first look at yourself in the mirror okay but always remember you've got to protect the kids you've got to protect you know those that are there and if you think for a minute that something somebody else is doing you might want to know their whole story first you might want to know is if their mom or their dad married a murderer and then had their kids around sex offenders and pedophiles but they keep taking them to court you know for some reason or another and they're the ones being lied about so the only thing they can do is show the world fine when in a public you know if you got to go to the public court of opinion not in the regular court because regular courts you know, people lie, cheat, steal, manipulate. You know, I mean, people are not honest in court. I mean, look at today. We've got police officers being shot. We've got people, you know, downing on anybody and everybody. You know, we got towns and cities burning. You know, we've got people being let out of jail that committed murder and they're drug dealers and everything else, all because of a political reason. So, like I said, always be there for your kids. You know, do the right thing for the right reason. But if you do it because you think that you know better than everybody else, don't. Because, like I said, you must take care of yourself first before you can ever judge anybody else. You know, before that you want to go complain about somebody else's house is dirty, you might want to make sure your house is clean. Because so many people that are doing it is because they themselves have the problem. And that's why they do it. And I can tell you right now, we don't. And those that want to complain and say, you know, it's because they have an issue. They have a problem. They are the problem. And they have been reported. And they, you know, guess what? We we know who they are from Florida and a lot of other places, you know. And like I said, I'll, I'll see them in jail before I ever let them harm a child or sit there. And, you know, they, they, they're okay with abuse because they do it themselves. But they have to call everybody else out, out it, even though the other people aren't doing it, for their own self, whatever. So know this, be good, be kind, be great every day. And don't let negative people steal your thunder. Don't let negative people sit there and try to tell you they know who you are and they know what's going on about you when they themselves, they have skeletons in their closet so deep that they have to keep doing things to you so nobody looks at them. And that's the way I look at it. If anybody was ashamed, embarrassed, or harmful, you know, that'd be one thing. But I just kind of, you know, I take it as in, what is this person doing so wrong that they have to sit there and complain? They have to, you know, when they don't even know the ages of stuff. So every day in life, just know you need to matter, but know how you matter and why you matter. Okay? And be great. Anyway, I'm Jeffrey Jansen. I hope you enjoy our channel. But know this, if people want to get a false impression of what's going on, they will. If people, you know, go where you're celebrated, avoid where they, you're just tolerated, but have a great day.